Alrighty, so I'm back from looking on Craigslist. Went out looking for, I was looking for an old uh, rototiller to restore an old school one. And, uh, well, I came across this, and now they're here in my garage. So, uh, gentleman had these listed. There's actually those four, plus these two. Went out and, well, I actually drove the old uh, Jeep Wagoneer, Grand Wagoneer. Drove that for the first time this year. A little cold. It was actually snowing this morning, but it was uh, not too bad. But he had them in the old barn, and he bought them over the years and decided he didn't need them anymore. So, now I own them. So, anyway, what I picked up, there's a total of six of them. Uh, let's see here. I'm not too up on these. Didn't look too much on. I used to work on outboards years ago, actually. Um, this one here is a Hiawatha. They're all in different shape, good, bad, or indifferent. A Hiawatha, five horse, model two five three two. Looks like a six zero. Um, two cylinder. Uh, all of them turn over. You know, I can crank them all over, so they're still not seized. This one here looks like she is a rope start. Looks pretty solid. Looks like it's pretty complete. Um, not too bad a condition. Uh, the next one here is an Evinrude. It seems like it's in the roughest condition. Looks like it might be one of the bigger. Looks like it's missing the startup. Uh, something's missing on the top here. Obviously, these three bolts are a little loose. Got a broken part here. Um, got some instructions on here. Still kind of see those. Uh, so that's kind of handy. But this looks like something about low power. Uh, so this one here, kind of rough. Kind of beat up, but it does crank, turn over. Good thing it still has a gas cap. Uh, next one here is a Firestone. Firestone. Don't see what horsepower that one is. Don't see a label. Um, looks pretty complete. Um, from what I can tell, uh, looks like a car plug sitting in there. The wire, spark plug wire is dangling down inside here, so somebody took it off. Um, don't see too many critters living in them. It does have a stamp in here, a 466. Looks pretty complete. Uh, looks like an old rope start. So you can see it still turns over. And over here we got an Evinrude. Uh, looks like this one has a few issues. Uh, one plug missing, no big deal. A uh, few <laughs> little wire mesh covering the old, you know, what used to be, I'm sure some kind of air filter, I would think. Uh, some kind of jobbled together spring thing going on here for the throttle. Looks like this got bent. Probably some kind of a. That looks like that looks like a stuck. And of course, missing the top and the fuel cap for whatever reason. So this might be more of a parts for somebody. I'm not sure. But let's go around here and see what else we got. Those four there. I like this one here, the old Elgin. I just like them because of the like that style. One cylinder. Um, the old gas style. This is a brass one here. Uh, everything moves pretty nice on it, actually. And uh, other thing, I think it's a rope start. Only thing missing here is this top piece here. I think this is a rope start. And it does crank over a little. Crank over, turn over. Um, what it says here is a Elgin uh, Sears and Roebuck model or serial number. Let's see, model number. Uh, so model number five seven one. Looks like a 58211. So that one there I like. Seems like it's in fair shape. Yes, a little beat up and dirty, but not too bad. Everything seems there, so the top part. And it does have some of the writing left on there. Kind of see it on there. And uh, then I like this one as well. I'm not sure. This is just, might be another Elgin. Looks similar. And again, missing the top part. Who knows what's going on there? So yeah, I get, I'd say it's the same thing Elgin. Um, hmm, not the same top, but it's a Sears and Roebuck model. Let's see, 571 58232. 58232. Uh, so they're similar. Glass bowl as well. And uh, they're all, you know, fair shape. Missing a few parts and pieces. Single. In, uh, but I like these two. And, uh,. Probably some of those parts are probably interchangeable on these two. Uh, looks similar. Definitely different years. But definitely similar on the bottom outputs. Very similar, matter of fact. Almost, ex I think those are identical. So these two could probably be put together outside of that one top part. Which I can probably find that. And I also like this one here. I like the old pull start for some reason. So I might be getting rid of the other ones. And uh, see what I got. But anyway, this is what I got. 
Uh, tell me what you think I paid for them. Tell me what you think they're worth. And, uh, you know, I might do a little project on one, figure out which one I like to do. Maybe uh, keep two or three of them. I might keep these two because they're identical or close to identical. And I also like that one there, the, the old Firestone, because it seems pretty complete and it's a pull start. And it's kind of unique looking. Uh, but tell me what you think. Uh, let me know what you think on them. And uh, if you like, subscribe. And have a great day. Bye.